Hi guys, that's right. I'm gonna compare these two. I see on the internet, and and I and I and I've said it myself that this is just this, or it's really not. It's really not. Um, I get into it, but it's, it's really not just that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is the elixir. This is the Jakar. Man, Jakar is still super wearable today. I don't care what anyone says. Beautiful scent. Oh, fucking elixir. Oh, God. High school or high school, junior high and elementary. Yeah. Just good. Just good. Um, are, are they as similar as some people say? Um, I'm going to give you the notes for each of them. And then you'll see there's not that many notes that are the same. But notes don't mean anything, honestly. Um, Jakar. Actually, it was released in 1982. Savage was late 2001 or 2021 or even early 2022. I can't remember now. Um, anyway, a good 39 to 40 years later. Um, Jakar has lavender, lemon, bergamot, rosemary, mint on the top. Dior has cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and grapefruit off the top. The mid for Jakar is lemon verbena, basil, and artemisia. The mid for Sauvage Elixir is lavender. Beautiful lavender, by the way. Like, a real lavender. Oh, my God. Um, and the base for Jakar is juniper, coriander, cinnamon, wormwood, uh, carnation, angelica, and jasmine. And the base for, for Sauvage is... A licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. So all the notes, they both got a shit ton of notes, especially the car. Do you know how many notes are the same? Two. Lavender and cinnamon. But they're two of the most prominent notes in these scents. Um, okay. I, I'm not an expert, so I give you my what I feel the differences are and stuff. Like they're not the same. You'll get whiffs and wafts every now and then of them. Like to be sitting there and you'll be like get a whiff of Jakar and you're like, oh, that reminds me of Savage. Or more than likely, you're gonna be wearing Savage nowadays, and you're gonna be like, well, that it kind of has. A bit of a Jakar vibe. And to be honest, there are, like I said, bits and pieces. Uh, definitely the lavender, you can smell in both of them. Although the lavender and the Sauvage is almost a completely different lavender. It's more of a sweet, aromatic, slightly powdery lavender. Whereas in the Jakar, it's, it's just more of a powdery lavender. Um, and the cinnamon, uh, when I do pick up the cinnamon, very little from Jakar. More towards, uh, definitely towards the base, the end of the life of the scent. Um, they're kind of similar that way in the cinnamon. Oh, Jesus, I love both of these. Um, Jakar is definitely more old school, uh, more barbershop-esque. It's got a soapy vibe to it, believe it or not. Whereas the Sauvage doesn't have that at all. Um, I'm trying my best to explain it, but I, I, I get the comparison, like I said, in tiny pieces. You know what I mean? Like, you, you. And if you just smell real quick, 
oh yeah, they smell, they smell, and they do. They smell, this smells soapier, but I mean, it almost, I'd say almost identical in a quick little sniff. But when you actually smell it, no, Sauvage is, I love Jakar. Again, unironically, unapologetically, whatever your words you want to use. I love Jakar. I think it's one of the best of all time. It'll never be replaced. But I gotta say, I, I like the elixir better. That just, the nutmeg I get from it and the cardamom and the cinnamon and the lavender and that sweet, that sweet lavender and, and the base of that sweet amber and patchouli with the woods and the licorice and just, and then just, and it smells, well, it better smell way more expensive as it is. Um, I'm having a hard time because I can't really disguise or discuss the differences with that because the similarity is more in, to my nose, more in the feel. You know what I mean? So Kyrie Elixir is doing something and I, and I take my hat off to them. You know, a big house to do something like that to say, you know what, we're going to, we're not going to bring back the 80s classics like Jakar. We're going to take Jakar, completely flip it end over end, keep a bit of that DNA and just load it up with all kinds of new stuff and give it a more modern, old school but modern vibe. And that's exactly what they did with it. It is... <laughs> this gorgeous scent, you know, where, and they took that risk, and, I mean, we say it's a big risk to them, if it didn't sell, it didn't sell, it wasn't going to hurt them any, they'd be out of a few million dollars, which is nothing to those people, so, but, it's, like I said, it's got similarities, it really does, and real quick, Stu, Oh, yeah, like, and like that, that's when it's pretty damn close. It's when you start digging in and you start. So they they really did, I'm, I'm going to say, despite what anybody says, they really did use Drakkar as maybe not Drakkar, maybe some other scent I'm not, or, or just a type of scent, but I'm saying they used Drakkar, and it was smart. They used Drakkar as the basis for that. That. Let's t make take a, an 80s classic scent and modernize it. Well, we, you just see them sitting around, what, 80s? What was, what was that, your car? That your car was pretty much the most popular scent for the longest time. Do it. Get on it. And this is what we got. So are they the same? Are they similar? Um, you're not going to fool anybody. Of course not. You're not going to put on your car and say, I'm wearing a Sauvage elixir. No, not at all. Anybody who's... And people who have smelled your car over the years, like my friends, I'll never put on elixir. I've never put on elixir and had one of them say, are you wearing your car? So they're not the same in that aspect. Um, but you definitely knew, you definitely know what Dior did here. And they took the best pieces, the best of your car, so change them around a bit. Said, all right, we've got this. Now let's add da -da 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 and just make it a modern 80s classic scent. And that's what I really get from Sauvage. I've said it before. It's got a throwback vibe. But without being too grandpa-ish, you know. <laughs> Together though, these they, they might be good for layering actually. You're getting that soapy cleanliness type barbershop esque from the jacquard mixed with that dark, slightly sweet lavender and spices from the, the elixir. They actually seem to work good together. 
like really good together. Hmm. I don't normally layer colognes. I usually layer when I do. It's usually oils with the cologne. But I, I might I might try that today. It's my last day off. Why not? Can't offend anybody. I'm not really going anywhere. I'll be back later. I'm gonna I'm gonna layer these two. And see what happens. All right, guys. So yeah, it was just kind of a rambling video, but I really didn't. I don't want to say they're they're the same because they're not, but there's definite similarities. And Dior took inspiration from uh, the Dracar. Absolutely, you can tell that 100%. They didn't shoot out to copy it or anything like that. They just took inspiration from it, and I guess that's what I can say the best about it. There's an inspiration in a good way, and a like I said, I can see them sitting around a boardroom discussing what's next and let's do something different but still in the realm of modern what can we do well let's uh you know throw some ideas on somebody says hey why don't we take an old scent and make it new and we're kind of well, jacar was pretty much the most popular for years you know oh yeah that's a good idea let's take that and then we'll 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 dior it up you know <laughs> like and i think that's how it pretty much i mean i wasn't there but something like that i'm 99 percent sure happened because it's definitely got Jakar-esque bits and pieces in it. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it happened. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys. So, not a substitute for either one of them. You're not going to trick anybody into thinking you're wearing one or the other by any stretch of the words. They're not that close. But they have... Definitely have similarities. A little bit of similarities. And definitely could see Dior using it as the inspiration, the groundwork for the elixir. And then I could be completely wrong, and maybe they didn't even notice your car. It just happened. That's the way it happened. That can happen too. But I don't know. So, despite what people are saying on the internet, it's not a $250 bottle of Dracar. It's not even close. It. If I take nostalgia out of it, it blows Dracar out of the water. Just in terms of performance and smell and all that stuff it's it's way better especially for modern noses um i mean with nostalgia it loses <laughs> i just can't rate something on nostalgia so yeah guys anyway that's it peace love be good to each other